Hello lovely friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sari Steam and I just got in the mail the new e.l.f. X Chipotle palette. So this is kind of a weird collaboration to me, but I love Chipotle so I had to try it. I left the plastic in just because the names are only on the plastic, so if you hear that crinkling I'm sorry. But this is what it looks like. So it's pretty neutral. But it's got some pops of color in there. So I think today I want to play with the green that's over here and probably with the warmer brown. So we're just going to jump right into it. Um, I'm going to prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm just going to tap that out. And the first thing I'm going to do, I think, is going to be, I think I'm going to actually start with the orange and go green to orange on my crease. So we're going to go with this green, which is called Lettuce. And I'm just going to go in with my Morphe M508. I'm going to pack the color on first, and then I will blend it out after. So I'm going to tap that off because it looks a little powdery. I don't want to get a lot of fallout. That's pretty pigmented right off the bat, so that's cool. Pretty true to the color in the pan. It's actually a little bit darker than I expected it to be. I'm going to take that about halfway, I think. I did get the hot salsa gloss as well and then I also bought their plain red lip liner that's what I'm wearing now and I'll just add the gloss after we get our eyeshadow done. It's looking pretty good. Because that's such a pigmented green I do think I'm going to go into the brown a little bit as a transition between the green and the orange. I'm just going to go into this lighter brown here just a little bit just to keep the green and the orange from getting muddy. That picked up really well. I'm going to knock off that excess a little bit. Very pretty. That's a nice brown. And then I'm just going to finish it off with this orange. This orange is kind of a satin. I'm actually going to swatch that before I use that. It's got a lot of shimmers in it. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get it to focus. It's kind of a sequin shadow. I think it'll be okay in the crease. So I'm just going to go into that. It's a really nice color. I'm just going to keep that pretty rounded. I think I'm going to take that orange under my eye as well. And take that about halfway under my lower lash line. I'm going to go back into the brown, the mid-tone, just to go in between the green and the orange and to kind of med melt them together a little bit. I don't want to do too much blending there because I don't want them to get muddy. more into 
to the green as well. A little bit like that. Let's see, I think I'm gonna take just a little bit of the darkest brown, this one here, and I'm gonna go under my lower lash line where I put that orange, just a little bit closer to the lash line just to give it a little bit more depth. And I'm also going to take that dark brown onto the outer V of my eye. Just to give it a little bit more depth and dimension. shimmers. I'm going to use this one down here in the corner which is called green salsa. This one is kind of an interesting color. It's almost got a little bit of a duochrome where it's got a red base with green and gold and then I want to take this weird purple color and do that on the outer corner closer to where I put that dark brown. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to use any glitter primer. I always like to see how they perform without it before I go in with it later. It's picking up really nicely on the brush with that green. And I'm just going to take that right into the inner corner of my lid. That's a cool color. Hopefully you can see that on camera. It's got almost a red to green duochrome, which is pretty impressive, more than I really expected from the self palette. So I'm just going to go in now to that purpley shimmer and I'm going to put that on the outer half of my eye. That one's not picking up quite as nicely on my brush, but we'll give it a try. So when I dug in a little deeper, I don't know if you can see that. It's very chunky. So I'm just gonna kind of tap that off a little bit. This is gonna get fall out all over my face probably. It is a nice color once you get it picked up. This is one that would definitely benefit from that glitter primer. And I'm just going to blend that into the brown that we have on the outer corner. And into the green that we have on our inner third. A little bit like that. I think the last thing I'm going to do is go into this gold, this one here, and I'm just going to put that under my lower lash line in the inner third. Again, that one picks up really nicely on my brush. Okay, that gold has a lot of pigment. That one's really nice. I'm just going to wrap that because that's such a pretty shimmer. I'm going to wrap that right around my inner corner. And blend it into the mat on the outer corner. All right. So this is where we're going to stop with the eyeshadow. I'm going to go off camera, blend out these edges, and then catch up the other eye, and I'll be right back with the finished look. 
All right, here's our finished look using the e.l.f. and Chipotle collaboration. This is not my favorite look. It's a little bit neutral, but I did use quite a few of the colors. So this is what I look like. Um, I'm going to finish off with using the Hot Salsa Lip Gloss. This is supposed to be one of their plumping lip glosses, which I do really like the formula of. So I figured we could finish that off on camera. It's very thick. Oh, I like that. It's cinnamon. <laughs> so I really like that. I always like Elf's plumping glosses. They're just really nice. So this is the hot salsa gloss to finish it off. And this is our final look. So thoughts overall, I was actually really impressed with this palette. Um, the only shade I wasn't super excited about was this Fajita shade. It just, it probably would do better with a glitter primer, but like I said, I like to do it without a glitter primer first. I didn't use either of these two light colors, but I used the green. I used this uh, green salsa color, which was probably my favorite, but it is fading on me quite a bit from when I put it on. Um, again, I think with a glitter primer, this one would be probably amazing. I used this orange shade. Um, this one is kind of weird. It's kind of satin. It's got some gold glitter in it, but I used it as a matte and it worked fine. Very pigmented, very pretty color. I used both of the browns, the darker one to deepen up my outer corner and the lighter one, this one, as a transition shade. So, oh, and I used the gold. Uh, in my inner corner, which I was really impressed with that. Even without a glitter uh, glitter primer, you can see it's really bright. So overall, I remembered that I'm just not a fan of brown eyeshadow. I ended up just blending most of it out and making it a reverse smoky eye a little bit. Um, it's not my favorite look. I might do one more with this. Um, so just let me know what you think. Is this a palette that you're interested in? Um, kind of weird, but it actually came with a chips and guac coupon so I'll be checking that out pretty soon but overall I like it a lot um, I like the gloss so let me know do you like it do you want it did you get it I love to hear your thoughts and beyond that you stay safe and you have a wonderful day